knowledge, my least perseverance is your key to the impossible. So thank you guys for your school motivational thoughts video. It's so awesome for you guys to be here. In these videos, I'm telling you something cool that's motivating and positive and educating and all that good stuff. So today's topic is going to be in relation to... Um, uh, I, I sorry, my my brain kind of spaced out on me. My apologies. The, today's video is on relation to connecting to different people, to uh, going out there and making connections and networking. There we go. Finally, the uh, word came to me. My <laughs> my brain is stupid right now. But anyways. Um, I'm talking to you guys about networking today. And the reason why I'm talking to you about networking is because I'm going to tell you this in a little bit of a different way than the typical person would to say how to network. For me, when I network and the way that I've received the opportunities that I've received is because for one, I look at the person who I want to network with. Who are they? What do they stand for? What are they doing? Do I like what they're doing? And that's the first step. Okay, the first step is that, you know, do I like them? Do I want to become friends with them? Because everyone who I network with, I try to make a friend as well as a valued contact. So first, I, you know, I see, you know, if they're a friend, great. I can, you know, they're an awesome person. I want them to be my friend. On top of it, then we start going into, you know, what can I do for them? You know, what can they do for me? How can I over deliver? And, you know, and then doing that and then acting on it, contacting them, over delivering and everything like that, creating an experience that's completely rememberable to them. And, um, building off of that. See, because what they would do is that if you over deliver and you're very nice and you're very awesome, you become friends and it's, it's really cool thing. They're going to pass you off to other people. And I have been that I've been in that position and I have not been in that position numerous different times. I've had people where some of them like to branch off and give me other contacts, you know, like you should check this person out. You should talk to him. You should talk to him, you know, and I've had this, I had the others, you know, like, well, you know, you're a great person, but you know, um, I think, I think just the project that we did for ourselves is great. So, you know, either way works for me, but basically putting yourself out there and in, instead of looking at how, what they can provide, for you, you look at what you could provide for them. You look how you can over deliver, how if they are an awesome person, how you can become friends with them and and just create this really awesome relationship of both, you know, your friend, but also you're creating some cool content and some cool stuff like um I've done, you know, for my, my YouTube videos, I make friends, I do the videos, I do collabs, and that's how I like it. I do, um, I've done, worked with radio show people who I know, who are awesome, who are friends of mine. I have done website writings, I've done all these different things, and they're all still friends on my social media networks or my emails or any site uh, that has contacts on it. I try to make sure that they are consistently, you know, hi, how's it going, or, you know, what's up, or how's the family, or stuff like that, you know, I try to reassure them that, you know, yep, I'm here because you are an awesome person, not because what you can provide to me, because the person is really what's the value. Okay. If you, if you're not working with people, what the person is, who the person is and what they stand for is the first thing that should be on your mind, not what they can provide you. Okay. Because what they provide, what they can provide you is important, but the person is ultimately the most important thing. Okay. Who they are, if you like them or not, if you want to become friends with them or not, will ultimately depend on how your networking goes out. And sometimes you might get contacts from this, from, from the new person you work with. Sometimes you don't, that's totally okay. But just keep putting yourself out there. Keep making friends and, and just see where it takes you. Because all honestly, what I've gotten for my opportunities is all about been making friends and making connections on top of that. And then expanding, expanding, expanding. And it's been growing and growing and growing for the last uh, few years. So, you know, that's how I've gotten up to the point I'm at. So, um, if you guys got any questions or thoughts, uh, leave them in the comments below. Cause I'm interested to help you guys out. If you guys need help in any form with networking or thinking of, uh, how to get through some situations. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like, favorite, share it, subscribe if you're not subscribed. More great content coming out. I just don't want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. I will see you guys in the weekly uploads.